All right, today we're going to look at the HTTP node, one of my favorites. Uh, we're going to look over quite a few things with this node. And, and like I tell anybody, when you ask if there is a way to integrate with X, Y, and Z, the HTTP node is pretty much always the answer if it's not here in N8N. With this node, you can connect to so many services. I'm going to show you how to import curl, which is a great handy feature. How to use existing credentials, which uh, took me a while to even notice was there. Um, oh, let me move this up because that's where we're going to get it. I'm going to have my Superbase credentials and use those to talk to Superbase uh, and not set them up again. Um, then we're going to just set up regular generic credentials. And again, credentials that are generic versus the predefined by learning this now, you'll just have an easier time later. Uh, finally, we're going to hit pagination. Uh, this can be tricky. Uh, this is one way to solve it. And there's so many pagination forms out there. Let's see how it goes. Lastly, try again. Uh, this is comes in handy when you get a 500, which I'm going to get because I ran out of my N8N credits. Uh, so hang in there um, and see and learn about the HTTP node, a very important node. All right, good luck. All right, the first one we're going to look at is curl. Really cool feature. Um, curl is an old school way of getting uh, stuff from websites or hitting websites. Most APIs will have a curl uh, example, C-U-R-L. If they don't, uh, ChatGPT can usually take any API and turn it into a curl example or any of those LLMs. Once you have that example, you just go in here and you paste it in and boom, you're ready to go. Now, I pasted in credentials. We wouldn't do that, but look at right away this worked. Um, but give it a go. Even if your credentials are there, give it a go. But we're going to work on the next step, removing the credentials. All right, that's curl. All right, pagination is always a little trickier. Um, this guy can be different from site to site. But if you look here, when we hit a particular site with a pagination or a page query, we get results. And we hit it with pages of two. Uh, we continue to get results. But if we then hit it with the number three, it's empty. But you, this is not a, this is not pagination. This is just showing how the, the data comes back. But if we then take a moment to figure out how to use response. So we put our page down here, and then we go down and we add the um, response. Oh, let me remove the credentials there because remember, it should be here. So let's go grab generic. Um, and that was a bear. And there we go. All right. Think I would have planned. You think I planned that, but I didn't. So here we are looking at the query string. Uh, so we added a response here. So in the options, we added response. And now that we added response, we, we get the response variable. See how I can now use that in my expression. And so we can say, hey, modify the query string page by taking the current page and adding one. And then we stop when the page we're on is greater than the total pages two. Uh, and now when we run that, um, it will work. Now, if we run this, we see we, we see page one. And if we look down here, we see total pages. And so that's why I chose that query string. Now, if we run this, we're going to get 39 page one of 20 plus page two of 19. And then if we, pat oh yeah, you, by the way, you can always see this better in the table. The scheme is a good way to see one thing. The table is a better way to see more than one. So here we go, one, two, three page. And then if we push that into the split, it then turns it into 39 items that we could shove into a database, for example. Um, and I have a whole video on split. Uh, I it's just such a good node. So go check that one out, I'll link it below. But that is pagination. Uh, there's so many ways to do pagination. So just be patient with yourself. Uh, read the docs. Try a few things. Set the max pages to something um, that will make it so you don't destroy the API you're using or get in trouble. Uh, there it's a 4, but it could be obviously a 10 or something. Um, but yeah. All right, let's look at the try. All right, here's a quick one. Um, Basically, when you hit an API and have an error, like, hey, you're using this API too much, we're going to back you off or um, throttle you, you can set this number to be like a delay. And I wish we could do comma and have um, exponential throttle uh, delay, but you have to choose a number. So whatever API you're using, 
might have like a 60 second delay some of them uh, so you just set that to 60 and it should work out or 61 and those are milliseconds and you could try a few times um, but some APIs just fail once in a while so you can just set that knowing that you can try a couple times and that's it